YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Campus Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So today, we're going to talk about the gym. Now, the gym's kind of an interesting beast. It is, it is a classroom, technically speaking. The game kind of treats it like a classroom, but people want objects out of it for personal wants, occasionally, depending on the type of student, rather than the only people interacting with it being the people that have it for classes. So you may get some calls to build a gym, even if you have no classes that require the gym. So I figured, you know what, let's, let's, sh let's show it off as a general room. So there's two different gyms that I want to show off here, and one is the complete circuit gym. This is the big one. This is the one minimum four by three but we're gonna do much better than that we're gonna do five by seven it is a big one but th this will pretty much give us everything that we need so five by seven door goes down here lower lower part right here in the front in this front long section we need a vaulting course not only does this give us healthiness but it also helps with the learning power in the room over here in the back corner over here we have the high jump also three percent learning power we've got our climbing frame barbell bench press also a good multi-person thing here the exercise bench the pull-up bar nestled in between all of those are the dumbbells the static bike and the climbing wall and last but not least we have the basketball hoop which is actually ironically the only thing that is strictly required for the gym now the reason why i've included all of these objects in here is for a specific purpose the different classes that might require the gym have different assignment requirements and different makeups for that the different classes that require the gym are academic e exercise they require the most the basketball hoop the climbing wall bike high jump pull-up bar vaulting course exercise bench along with the bunch of library items as well. Now this is all well and good. This gym will, will fit the needs of any of your gym required classes as far as assignment objects, but this will also fit the personal wants of anybody who is asking you for a specific gym item. In my observations, I've noticed that the rebels tend to be the ones that start demanding gym items, even if they are not necessarily part of a gym requiring course. There are a number of different courses that, that include rebels as their student types that have nothing to do with the gym. So be mindful of taking those courses if you are going to be attracting rebels but don't have any other gym utilizing courses because you're going to get nagged for one even though you don't really need it. Luckily, you only need one of these to satisfy everybody. Now, what happens when you need multiple gyms? If you need additional gyms because maybe you have a course, you have a, a big class and they require lots of gyms, well, yeah, you could build multiples of these if you really wanted to but honestly you don't need to you can just make a minimal gym go four by three door at the front basketball in the back and that's it like you don't even need the static bike or literally anything else just a basketball half court here is all you really need now granted this isn't going to be a very effective teaching room granted the the teaching bonuses for the two gigantic objects are minimal compared to their footprint so don't think you need to make a giant gym to spam these nor do i think it's really worth spamming them so yeah just a minimal one with a temperature fixer in the middle if needed which with the new uh, smaller temperature fixers is going to be much easier regardless of which ones you want to use i actually designed this before the 1.5 patch with the smaller temperature fixers luckily the full size model fits perfectly in the big gym so yeah that's it just cut it 9100 bucks for the tiny gym so as you need additional gym classrooms easy peasy easy to fulfill this is one of the cases where i don't mind if a course is wasting classroom space because the 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 gym is just so simple to to get additional space and you can hold a full class in here even though it doesn't look like it'll be much fun but yeah one big gym and the rest little and you're all set for your physical needs now for the gym's healthiness bonuses do i think they're worth it for that reason Nah, not really. You can get your student body's healthiness up much more consistently by luring everybody outside with fun entertainment and food objects so that they just soak up the sun's rays and get healthy that way. So not really worth it for that, but do ob obviously build it if you have rebels or if you have classes for it. The other courses that utilize the gym 
are interestingly the school of thought you, it doesn't sound like it does but it absolutely does have three instances of the gym as part of the classroom here as well as countercultural studies which do exclusively attract rebels but since you'll be needing a gym for this class anyway that's fine so yeah those are the that along with the academic uh, expertise or will be all you need as far as classes requiring the gyms but do be wary there are other courses that attract rebels virtual no Normality, Scientography, Robotics, Musicality, and Internet History can all potentially attract rebels while being a class that does not require the gym. So just be mindful of that. Now, is there any harm to ignoring their requests? Not really. You can, you can turn a few people's personal requests down, but if they just keep nagging you for it, you might as well build one. Hope you guys found this useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!